Hi, welcome to Wise Guides. Approximation using binomial theories. This video I will give you introduction how to approximate a number. For example, is square root 2 or cube root 10 or fourth root 3, etc. Using binomial theories. For example, to approximate cube root 10, we can write inside the radical in two numbers. Factor out 10. 10 you can write into 8 times 1.5. 25, right? 8 times 1.25 equal 10. So then because cube root 8, this is can factor into cube root 8 multiply cube root 1.25. And cube root 8 equal 2. And the cube root 1.25 we can write into a binomial which is 1 plus 0 0.25 to the 1 third exponent, right? Now we. Then we can use binomial series to expand 1 plus 0 0.25 to the 1 third exponent and we get the cube root 10. So let's try to show you how to do this one. This one we can also can write into 2 times 1 plus 1 quarter to the 1 third exponent, right? So now this is the binomial expansion. Follow the pattern, we know the binomial expansion a plus b is a plus b to the n exponent. The formula is the first term is a n, the second term is n times a to the n minus 1, subtract 1, and times b to the 1 exponent, because these two exponents add together is n exponent. And the third term is n multiply n minus 1, n multiply n minus 1, divide the 2 factorial, and the a is n minus 2 exponent, descending 1, and the b is increasing 1, 2. So these two exponents add together, you call it n. Then plus if we going to for fourth term and the next is the coefficient is n multiply n minus one multiply n minus two. So is n multiply n minus one multiply n minus two divided by three factorial a is n minus three exponent b is three exponent and so on. But we only choose 1, 2, 3, 4. Four uh, terms and to get the approximate number to, I think uh, we can make uh, accurate to thousands. And let's apply this formula to this situation. In this case, obviously, A equal 1, B equal 1 over 4, and n equal one third. <coughs> then we can see uh, this situation. We can go to let's say first one is a n, which is the first one. So you have one plus one over four to the one third exponent, and one to the n, which is the one to the n in one third exponent. plus 
n is one third, one third multiply a is one, so then n minus one is one third minus one times b is one over four to the one exponent. Then plus, this is a two factorial on the bottom, top is one third multiply one third minus one, which is negative two third, multiply one to the one third minus two exponent, and b is one over four two exponent. Then plus the fourth term is one third multiply negative two third multiply and minus two is one third minus two which is negative five over three and divided by three factorial a is minus three exponent so one third minus three exponent and the b is one over four to the three exponent every time you can double check these two exponents add together equal one uh, equal one third which is n this is the see one third minus two plus two is one third one third minus three and the three plus three is add together a one third exponent so we can calculate this one equals two the first one is one to the one third is still one any exponent for one still one the second term, this one, we can see is plus, this is a 1, right? Any exponent for 1 is still 1. And 1 third multiplied 1 quarter is 1 over 12. And plus, this one we can see, this is a 1, because any exponent of 1 is 1. This is 1 over 4 squared is 1 quarter. So for this one, we can find uh, to calculate, see, the one third times negative two third, this will be negative number, right? This is, will be negative number. Also, divided by two, two factorial is two times one, which is two. This two cancel with this two. The so top with negative one over nine is negative one over nine multiply 1 over 16 then plus this one we can see 3 is what the 3 is 3 is 3 factorial is 3 times 3 times 2 times 1 and this 2 cancel with this 2 so 3 times 3 times 3 divided another 3 which is still 1, 2, 3, 4 we'll put together which is 81 it's 81 the bottom and the top is a 5 because this is negative negative so that's why they put together equal positive so this one is positive so multiply 1 over 64 so you can see this part is really small, right? But really small. So mostly it depend on these two numbers. And also, yeah, the more terms got the more accurate. So now we have, we go to the next page. We have this one too. Can go to this one here. So we have th this one have 1 plus 1 over 4 to the 1 third exponent equal, we copy this one and say 1 plus 1 over 12 and plus negative 1 over 9 multiply 1 over 16 and this is a plus 5 over 81 multiply 1 over 64 
so we can do this and see. This one is 1 plus 1 over 12 is 13 over 12. And the minus this one is, this is a minus, this is a 9 times 16 is 144. And plus this one, we have, we use the calculator to show you this one here, is 81 multiplied 64 is 81 times 64 equals 5,184, top is 5. So add these three fractions, we have 13 ABC button is a special using calculator fraction. ABC button, which is 13 over 12, minus 1 ABC button, 144, and equal, and plus 5 ABC button, which is over 5,184, equals and then change this to decimal is 1.07735. You copy all the digit is 3395. Then the question we need to multiply by 2, right? Multiply by 2. So we change this one. So cube root is 10 equals 2 times this number which you multiply by 2 equals 2.1547 or 2.155 if we uh, approximate to thousands. And then let's show you uh, what is cube root 10 using just a director using calculate. Cube root, see this is the cube root 10. Equals, if cube root 10, if this is a cube root 10, you the calculate equal 2.154. So this is uh, almost the same, right? And very accurate, but yeah, here. So th this is the cube root 10. So how to uh, approximate, for example, this one, how to approximate cube root 7? Or let's uh, say it's fourth root 3. I will show you the way. The cube root 7, you, you can say cube root 10, 10 is 8 times 1.25, which is 8, we can get the cube root, got the 2, but 7 is a prime number. There are no factor, is the factor only 1 and itself, which is 7. So we cannot follow this method, but we can say this way. We can say cube root because cube root 8 you got 2. But the 8 times which number give us 7, which is 7 over 8. You see? Cube root 7 you call 8 times 7 over 8. 8, 8 cancel is the cube root 7. Now, we can separate the cube root 8 times cube root 7 over 8. And cube root 8 equal 2. Cube root 1, 7, you can write the 1 minus 1 over 8 to the 1 cube, right? See? 7 over 8 is 1 minus 1 over 8. This is the same thing by normal. We, this situation with A equal 1, B equal negative 1 over 8, and N still equal 1 third. What about fourth root with three? Fourth root three. You need this idea. You can say 
you can write any prime number into one whole number which is uh, can get out the radical the other is fraction so that's why we can write you have many different methods see here fourth root so which number after cube root you got whole number we can choose the smallest perfect perfect root so which is this is 2 4 exponent is 16 say 16 times 3 over 16 see which is this one you can separate the fourth root 16 times fourth root 3 over 16 and uh, equals to this is fourth root 16 equal 2 and this we can write into 1 minus 13 over 16 to the 1 4 exponent because 1 minus 13 over 16 exactly equals 3 over 16 so this situation a equal 1 b equals negative 13 over 16 and n equals one quad. We, st we still can using binomial series to expand get approximate and you can choose three terms or four terms or five terms depend on how accuracy we need okay this is presented by wise guys thank you